G'day there, mate. My name is Mr. McGillicuddy, and welcome back once again to my channel. Today, we'll be continuing the story of Darksiders 3. So, in the previous episode, we made our way down to the Nether to try and find Wrath, which I had a hard time remembering, sorry. <laughs> we found a human, to, uh, two of them, in fact. We turned it back to Haven, so that's two out of twenty we found. We fought Wrath, but... We got taken down in the process while trying to take him down. And then somehow we were summoned to the Hollows, into what, which we met the Lord of the Hollows himself. Telling us that there's something wrong with the universe and such. Then again, we already knew that. And he's given us the gift of the Flame Hollow, which increases uh, Fury's ability in combat and in weaponry too. Also, Volgrim has given us a proposition of a new area which we can explore called the Void, into which some um, stone marauders have taken place there, and he wants us to clear them out, because the only way we can get further into them is the hollows we collect. And since we've got the flame hollows, we're going to do just that. So, enough of my rambling, let's get us started, shall we? So, the Void. Again, this is part of the DLC. I have never uh, been witness to structures of stone floating so freely. As I was saying, this is all part of the DLC, the Keepers of the Void. <sighs> Sugar. It's paid DLC, which you can either get from my Bind and Outright or with the Season Pass. Since I got the Season Pass, I was able to uh, actually get it for get it downloaded right away when it was released. Ooh, these things are harder to find. Yep. Okay, so the, the uh, Chains of Scorn, the, what they lack in the uh, power department, they actually make up for with their with their uh, Swiftness and uh, multiple attacks. Now we got these stone sent sentience here. Yeah, the symbols on those torches there, they represent the hollow that we got. Now also keep in mind that uh, each hollow has their own unique uh, counter and attack. With the flame one here, as you saw before, when I invaded, when I press triangle, I charge straight towards the enemy in a ball of fire. Okay, so that's how we're able to get access to this area here. Which we have the flame hollow. Struck the void orb with a chance ho hollow attack, while the orb is... Nah. So strike her with the with the flame holder here to uh, get this back. Now the symbols on the side of the orb here, I think it represents the different hollows we can use on it. Imbued with that hollow's power, yeah. So when we struck struck it with the flame hollow, we get that effect. No, we won't be able to go over there yet. So we'll come back there another time. Death warned of such creatures, with the power to manipulate stone to their very will, and take on a physical form. Now, I want to discuss a bit more about the Lord of Hollows here. Actually, never mind. I try to think of subject, but then it's just completely gone from my head. Okay, Fawn Shard. Okay, it looks like some of these stone marauders are inactive. And there's some places we can't go to exactly yet. 
Now we already seen inside the serpent hold one time when we were playing with War on Dark Siders One. And we never seen this area here. But then again. As I was saying, again, this was before war was sent to Earth, so he wouldn't probably have not seen this area with the creatures in here, because Fury has probably took, took him out. My guess, anyway. Okay, so we can move around using that. But, let's just bring it back here, because I want to see what's up here first before anything else. Also, oh jeez. Whoa! Hello. Okay, something else I forgot to mention. Each hollow gives us a has its own special wrath attack. So, with the flame hollow, Fury covers herself in flames, dealing dealing damage to enemies that are nearby. Which is nice. Now you can deactivate the flame hole by holding L1 and by holding L1, and she will go back to normal. This will allow you to use the uh, other wrath attack, which uh, we already know, but you can't use any triangle attack. So, circle. Sorry, I forget which one it was. And there's no buttons to highlight which hollow is rep is which. And we all saw something down here, so And it seems there's another symbol on here too. Make that two more symbols on there. So it, it looks like we won't be able to go this way. No, sorry, it's just the one symbol. It was the flame and something else. So it looks like we won't be able to go this way. Yeah. Ah, good. So we can go back up here. <laughs> And what was I going to say? I don't remember. Now again, sorry, I keep saying now again when I when I haven't said anything I was going to say before. But as I was going to say, uh, each holo has their own unique abilities. And not only in combat too, but for solving puzzles as well. Ooh, hello. Okay, a demonic artifact. These artifacts can be used to upgrade weapon enchantments. Yep. So once I head back to Ufain, I'll show off these uh the benefits of upgrading the uh artifacts, since we only got one for now. And I probably should have start saving my souls because I wanna get those other artifacts in which Volgrim has. Crap! Ooh, that was close. Okay, we got a shadow one here. Ow! I was holding the wrong button. An angelic artifact. Okay, I don't think I was meant to knock him off the ledge like that, but, oh well.
<sighs> Probably won't be able to get what he was going to drop for us. Which the point was the uh, slip of an aluminium. Oh well. Look out! I'm going to hate these ranged attackers because one, we w won't be able to move fast in the lava there. So, jump across instead. Ow! You son of a... That was close. Okay, you are really starting to tick me off. Yeah, come here. Okay, we got a help. Got a green lurcher for some health. Sorry for one of our Netherlands respite. Or well, how would it be pronounced? The name? I'm probably saying I'm wrong and butchering it. Ow! Come here. Okay, so doing the uh, flame polo uh, counter attack actually can ignite the enemy on fire. So keep that in mind. There you are. Come here. Okay, so the only way we can jump out of the lava here is by holding down the X button, the uh, jump button. Got to remember that this game is also on other consoles, so I have to be considerate for when someone else who plays a different console wants to play this, but doesn't have the same console as me. Okay, this is the cross from where we just came in, I believe. Yeah, use a small health shot here. Now, I'm not sure if there is a limit on the, how many health, how many uh, consumables we can hold. Okay, let's see if Volgrim, I can buy this thing with Alt Volgrim. Take your time. Nope. Okay, this is something they added to the game actually. Before, I don't think you were able to buy slivers of aluminium. I'll go over more details about them later. Nope, I can't do that. Oh, hello! Now, I think this armor was added when they released the Keepers of the Void DLC. The Flame Hollow armor. Where if in flames, this elemental armor increases the potency of flame attacks. So, I think I'll save up for that. Which reminds me, actually, I think I should start, um, where are they? No, no, here they are. Stockpiled or purified Spirit, amassed by a deadly sin to further their power. Good to know. A small scattered group of wayward spirits, lost, unable to escape Earth. Okay, a small scattered group. Yeah, we already seen this one. A moderate number of spirits drawn together by a deep by deep regret and still don't have enough mm. I'm the papa I don't know why I said that oh 
I don't know how I've got this, but I, 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 I figured it might have been something that, uh, hold on a sec guys, let me check something. Okay, so the Abyssal Armor here that I've got here is actually something that you get when you complete the Keep of the Voids DLC. I won't go into de keep details about it, but let's just say this is very powerful armor. Now, I am not going to equip this because, one, I will be too OP to it. But this game armor will be very useful in New Game Plus, in which I'll go into meet details about it once I complete the Keep of the Void DLC. So we're going to ignore that for now. For as long ago in early early days of the Nephilim Crusade, sturdy, practical, and efficient, effective. Armor defending one of the four. I don't know. Oh wait, I was going to go back there to break over some of those clusters. All right, so I'm going to have to start saving up some souls. I think I must have got this armor because. In my other save file, I did complete the Keepers of the Void DLC. Now it looks like I can't go this go that way yet because the gate's closed. I can jump across, but that's all. So this way. So I won't be equipping the armor until I actually beat the uh, this actual area. So that will take a while. So we got some shooters in here, huh? You know, these big guys remind me of those stone constructs back from Dark. Ow! Dark Side 2 in the uh, Forge Lands. Oh, Jesus. They are angry. They are angry. Ah, okay. <sighs> I won't exactly say that if that is 100% my fault. It is partly my fault, but not fully. I don't know what I was doing. Ow! Not this time. All right, let's take out the shooters before I actually deal with the rest. Ow. Get up here. Ow. Oh, give me some breathing room. Jesus, what wait. What then? What then? Heck. Just one after another with these guys.
And this guy was taking pot shots at me too. Ah, sugar. Yeah. Oh, come on. A sliver. Nice. Okay, this is gonna take a bit of brain power to work here. Something which I clearly, clearly lack. And it looks like another one of the symbols is needed here. Okay, what's this? Alright. We're gonna have to come back here at a later date to fully explore this area. Okay, I made it. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right, now let's look around to see if we can find another switch. Nothing here, so where do we go? Oh, now I know. Again, I don't have the uh, biggest brain out there, which other uses. Let's just say I'll just muddle my way through. Okay, we've got some changes here now. Good, good. Still, that block hasn't moved. That hit the switch. Hmm. I think that just reset it. Everything. Ooh, not. Oh yeah, I think it did. Sugar. <sighs> Try again. Up, going on busy. Dash, ah, okay. This way, then. I can't exactly remember everything that's going on around me. But we need to somehow move this out of the way. Wide phone, I'm trying to work here. And you're distracting me. 
It's me muddling my way through. And I used to enjoy puzzle puzzle games, but now How are we going to get this one out? I think I just might have mucked up again. I'm just going around in circles and I'm sorry for that guy. No, 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 no! This is going to take me a while. I bet there's a lot of you screaming at me right now saying, Do this, do this. Hello? How did I not see that? took me a bit to work out. Then again, I'm just an idiot. Dun, 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 dun. It goes this way. Love it. Okay, this takes us back to here. So, we're gonna unlock the shortcut. Good to know. Good to know. Hello. What do we have here? Your transgressions are costly. I have slayed many of your brethren. If you wish to avoid the same fate, I suggest you talk. Why do you infest the serpent holes? I want answers now! Your silence is disrespectful. Time to teach you some manners. Oh boy. Ah, oh gosh, keep off flame. 
Despite the fact he's made of rock, he's quick with the strikes. Ow! That's not good. Ow! <laughs> okay, so he does that. So I'm going to need to go back even further instead of just dodging sideways. <laughs> Good God, my God almighty. Well, round two. Let's try this again. Okay, so the triangle counter is always a good one to use. Back up. That was close. Come on, I'm right here. Ow! We got the uh, throwback for the return damage. Keep dodging out of the way and hopefully you get by. Back up, back up. That's new. And that is definitely new. Ow. That was close. Ooh. Oh, sugar can't heal. Havoc. And just in the nick of time. The good thing about Havoc form is that you recover health while you're in it. Yeesh! Alrighty, the Talents of Scorn. This is something that is also a part of the DLC. Not only does it introduce a new area to explore, it introduces new weapon forms for the hollows you use. So, we can attune it to either be the Talents of Scorn or the Chains of Scorn. Either way, these will be useful. Up here. Now we can switch back and forward between them any time we want. Okay. Inspired by the searing, searing power of the flame hollow, Scorn takes the form of two fiery claws. Fury uses the talents to shred enemies with fierce precision. So there is some difference between the two, just can't remember why. 
yeah, this one's more speed based. And more faster than the other. What the other one does to hit a bit more, just not as much as the uh, talents here. Okay, now we're gonna need. Two. And there's DC 11 down there. Let's check here real quick. Oh, hello, this way over enough for us. Okay, this is the uh, central room by the whoops. And these ways are all the other hollows we're going to be needing. We already got the flame unlocked here, as you can see. Ah, that way was locked. Up it's gone. What would you ask of this humble? Check. Let's see how much of these um. There we go. We got enough for the armor. Greeting. Take your time. Come on. No, I don't want to sell. A wise decision, as you wish. Alrighty. Please take your time. We're gonna return to the uh, bristle. Lister in Br Bridge. Now, the ho the serpent holes here can take you back to the last location you are at. So, just in case, for example, you needed to go see Ufan about something, which actually we'll probably do now. So, the Maker's Forge. Equip this. And you can definitely see some of the flame elements in here. Ooh, fine. Mm-hmm. Okay, so to upgrade our weapons, we need the right ingredients. To upgrade it from zero to three, we need slivers of element alimentite. Alimentite. Okay, so as the upgrades go by, the more ingredients it will cost. So I can't upgrade the talents with a change. Okay, now with enchantments, you can take them on one to two paths. Either up here, which is energetic fortifier, or demonic fortifier. Going on one path will increase it one way or the other, but in the end, it will all meet on the same, the same ending path here. Now, it doesn't matter which path you take it on, it just depends on what artifacts you have. So, think wisely before you go on one path, because you won't be able to go back on the other. As you see, the dialogue changes too, which... <laughs> So we're going to equip, going to go with Angenic to give us more health. Yeah, so as you can see, the bottom part here is grayed out, so we can't go down that way. We have to continue up the Angenic Fortifier. But once we reach the end here, Bounceable Fortifier, fortifier we still will be able to... And we'll get the other benefits that the other side would have taken. Now, however, do keep in mind 
that in order to get the final form, depending on the path you've chosen, will also determine it. Sorry, let me just get this right. To go up this path here, you need at least 12 angelic uh, artifacts in total. Same says here with the demonic artifacts. And in the end here, you know, for the unlock it, you will need the said same amount of artifacts, if it, depending on which path you take. So, since we took the angelic, we will still need 12 demonic artifacts to actually fully, fully enchant this one in uh, bounds. Interesting. Passes some blessings to you, Fury. Thank you. Ugh, I was ranting on and on for quite a while now. <laughs> Ugh, I don't mean to do that, guys, but I have a bad habit of doing that, which I'm pretty sure you know. To ask of this. Please take your time. Okay, the void slotted us here, and the ashen holds there. We're going back to the uh, blistering bridge. Now, uh, I think I might have to cut the episode short here, guys, because, uh, I don't know how long it will gonna t it's going to take me in order to reach the next uh, Serpent Hold, which will unlock the next shortcut. So, I think it's best if I just cut, stop it here, and we'll continue this in the next episode. But, hey, we got a new weapon form for the, uh, Flame Hollow. We found a few things. Bought some new armor. And it's fine the fact we already have some armor from the my last playthrough. <laughs> but this will be very, very helpful to us. But anyway, that is gonna be it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and show your support for the channel. I really appreciate that. I want to try and get a hundred subscribers, people. Come on, people, we can do this. So thank you all again, and I hope you all have a good day. Take care of yourselves out there and drive safely, people. Bye-bye and take care.